Come on, Twitch. There we go. Hmm. Welcome back, everyone. I'm sorry I didn't stream yesterday. Something kind of came up. But, we're back. We have some things here we can do. Damn. The music just kicked up. Give me a sec. Alright, there. And my dog appears to have broken up as well. Uh, let me get that out of her way. So she doesn't break it. But yeah, we're back. We have some free time events. Stuff we can do. Ah. Uh, hang on. Oh yeah, so off stream, I want to thank Ephigenia for following. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, we have stuff we can do. So, over here... I think it's her I have to speak to. Oh, look who is. You've come at a perfect time. I have? I can't say those words fill me with anything other than dread. Hmm? Why would that be? I never caused anyone trouble. Um, yeah, uh, of course you don't. Well, anyway, as I was saying, now that we've got so many students here, I was thinking of treating them to this village's specialty to welcome them. We have a specialty? Of course we do. We have the Manju, the Eastern Confectionery that Master Kafai brought here. I may have been the... I may have been the one who decided to village specially, but its decision's been made and it's final. <coughs> right. Anyway, so that's what you're going to make going to make? That's right. Just one teeny tiny little problem. I'm missing one of the very important ingredients to make them. And I can't seem to get my hands on it. Which one? Azuki beans. You won't be able to get them on your hands for some You wouldn't be able to get your hands on some for me, would you Rain? Huh. Well, I can see why you exactly might be trouble getting them. Not exactly well known in the Empire. It's gonna be difficult. I guess I should it wouldn't hurt to try, but what should I do? Well I mean like I like everyone just to try some manju too. Alright, I'll give it a shot. As uncommon and upbring as they are, people do use them for time time here. So someone's bound to have some left over. I suppose the best place to start would be someone with a lot of cooking. Yay! Well good luck on your search. There's stuff I have to buy from you, too. Uh... Soup... And Chronicles. Uh... Alright! Uh... Items... As you know, it should be a vent, right? Yeah. Do I have all the... Am I caught up? Yep. Yeah. It rains so so okay, I make let's it. let's give this a try. There we go. Onion soup. Let's go in the Chronicle. The pan rules towards the nation. Uh... They're trying to say that they're nearing the war. Saying the Imperial family is disappointing the rebels. The economy stabilizing? Uh. Oh, better happen in La Mer province. Uh, a strange night appears in the west. So, yep, it's. It's, uh, May. We have a received report that the Croatian Provincial Army clashed with a mysterious large weapon resembling the Alliance's own Azure Knight. The Alliance believes it's an inferior imitation of the Azure Knight as increasing security while trying to pinpoint its current whereabouts. Which one this is? Yeah, they keep winning, one victory at another. Uh, uh, something about Aurelia Le Guin and Rallis Bardius. Addiction of the future. 
Go, uh, yeah. People got arrested. Let's see what else I have to do. Uh, I gotta go to the house southeast of the pub. Oh, so just house. So right here. You have to speak to Masha. You Masha? You are. I went to Plover the Plover the other day to buy a book, but I ended up buying the wrong one. Silly me. Well, down the end, most because this book is actually quite interesting. I think I might get the next volume even. You should try reading it yourself. I think you'll become a fan too. <laughs> Thanks. I'll read it if I get a chance. Okay. Got the next Gambler Jack. And now we gotta do snow go snowboarding. Uh, over here. Wait, no. Over here. Let's do the A2 course. Well, I have one minute. My best time was 51 seconds. And I missed two flags. Uh, okay, I, I only can miss two. See if I can beat my best. Oh, oh god, okay. I hit the goal. Come on, can I beat my time? I did. I did hey. it. Ha, <laughs> that's my boy. Wouldn't feel ready if a Sunny Mirror couldn't handle that course. Well, here, here's your prize. Go ahead and take it. I'll be sure to keep the courses well maintained. If you feel like boarding again, just come on by. I certainly will. See you then. What's... What's... Oh, hang on. There. What does this one carry? Let me give it... Breath. Increases the odds of running from battle by 40%. Alright, why not? Actually, this is perfect for me, putting people to sleep. Uh, what else can I put it on? Saintly Forest? Oh. How about that? Alright. So, what do I do now? I gotta go speak to Claire. So, not Milliam, Claire. <laughs> Let's see, Milliam hasn't lost that, her spark. You know, we really had a work cut out for us back in Nord. I'm glad we managed to resolve the trouble there. Speaking of Nord, that's probably ask. Do you think about that Altina girl? Like, why she and Milliam both have weird puppets in the same last name? I do. Unfortunately, all my information is probably in television, intelligence division, and as such, my lips are sealed. But to be blunt, telling you would only serve to confuse you, and we can't put your mind elsewhere right now. Fair point. Oh, what are you guys whispering about? Hehe, <laughs> wait, as he was going here, hush whispers, staying close, working together? You two are dating, aren't you? I excuse me? That's your definition of dating? <laughs> Come on, Rain, you got this. In fact, make sure we heal up our CP real quick. Uh, 
Alright, everyone should be good now. Alright, now we have binding events. What can we do? So, Sharon and Tovals were added page to the notebook. Alright, I'll roll with that. Hey Fee, what are you doing? I'm going to head to the mountains for some hunting. Should go well. It's do it all the time back in the core. I wish I could your dad something good to eat. Thanks, I guess. Still, don't forget the rest. You're really going to need it. Roger. Fee is going hunting. Okay. Let's see, it's Sharon's in a mansion, I believe. Why are you doing the cooking, Sharon? I thought it might, might be the best way to make yourself useful. Lady Schwarzer and I have been applying all sorts of culinary concepts that could aid your father's recovery. So it's shockingly comfortable in our kitchen. I never gave much thought before, but seeing Ouroboros and Forrester staying in my house is kind of weird. Something that, mas something that matter, Master Rain? I could make you a favorite dish or something of the sort? Lady Elise is out shopping for ingredients at the moment, so it's not too late to put in any special requests. I would gladly leave. I would gladly leave the sign the dinner menu to the two of you. You would just be like a married couple. But whatever you, whatever you make will be just fine. I don't know why I'm wasting my time worrying about her past. She's still our Sharon, no matter who she worked for. I've got my mind though. Maybe I should take some time to ask her a bit about Orbos. So this is kind of out of the blue, but would you mind telling me about Orbos if you can anyway? I feel like I should learn as much as I, about them as I can, as possible, since we're almost going to face them again. Goodness. Hmm, would you be willing to accompany me on the mountain path again? Huh? Huh? I mean, sure, but why? <laughs> You'll see when we get there. If you need some time, I can... To get ready, I can wait. Alright, now we're in the mountain path. Oh, a dead end? What exactly did you bring me here for, Sharon? Is there something here that I'm not seeing? This should be far enough from the village. You don't want to cause any trouble for anyone, hmm? Oh shit. She's gonna fight me, as you see. What are you doing? Please draw your blade, Master Rain. Allow me to take the opportunity to give you a little due practice. But practice? Where did this come from? I'm sure you don't need me to inform you of this, but Orbos has chosen to support the Noble Alliance in their endeavors. The agents assisting them are incredibly powerful and skilled, much like the Phantom Thief. They're all that powerful? Should you choose to find a way to find a way your classmates fight as good, then sign of Orbos is nothing short of evil. Trying to fight evil as such such that head on is pure folly. But I too am part of society. Perhaps by fighting me you can discover something that will help you stand up to them. I think that will be far more useful to you than simply learning information about the group may serve as practice. What's up, um, Mystery Synergy? Welcome to the chat. Uh. Alright then, accept your challenge. No holding back, Master Rain. Let me see what you're truly capable of. The impromptu training session quickly began. Sharon showed no mercy, subjecting the ring to a full money for many skills. And he struggled valiantly to find an opening to mount a counterattack, barely enduring her onslaught. I would imagine. Yep, yeah, that's about the way I saw that going. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. <sighs> That was wonderful. It takes some impressive skills to be able to catch one of my steel wires such as... Hang on, I gotta answer some a text real quick. Alright. 
It takes some impressive skill to be able to catch one of my steel wires in such a short period of time. <laughs> I was able to catch the one, though. If this had been a real combat situation and you were fighting to kill, I would have been torn to shreds long before that. Oh, uh, that may very well be true. Still, you're determinedly trying to find ways to turn overwhelming odds in your favor, never once giving up. Seeing that was enough to make me believe this practice session was not in vain. Do you mind if I ask you a question, Sharon? Why do you do so much to help us when you're supposedly still with Ouroboros? It seems strange to be strange to be trained on how to fight against our members by someone who's part of their group. The enforcers of Ouroboros are granted a certain degree of freedom in what we do. I simply exercise the freedom to choose serving yourselves and the Rhinefoot family over Ouroboros. But the fact that I am a member of a society does not change, of course. That includes approximately nothing for me. At the very least, I can assure you have nothing to worry about. Until this war reaches conclusion, I'll fight alongside you and your classmates. That I promise. My love and devotion are not only with Lady Elisa, but with each and every one of you. I swear to the guys, I will protect and fight for you with all that I am. Thank you. We'll be ca we'll be counting on you, Sharon. Always. <laughs> nothing would make me happier. The conversation over, Sharon gave Ring first aid for the injuries he had sustained during the battle, and they got it, they happily returned to Ymir. Alright. Now, we go with Toval for his notebook page. He's, I believe, here? Yep. Shane was kind enough to give us the official Orbo seal of approval on Ymir's defenses yesterday. He might be number one on the guild's list of enemies, but everything I've seen out of her is worthy of our trust. So the more time passes, the grimmer the situation here in the Empire gets. Maybe it's time for me to square things up with the guys, just in case. A little prayer can hurt, hurt me right now. I should join them. If you hang off to pray, I'd be happy to join you. That's the plan! Nice to have some company. There's something I would want to talk to you about anyway, so I guess the guys are smiling on me already. What would that be? Hmm. I'm kind of surprised you want to come all the way, come and pray all the time. Never really struck me as much of a religious man. Well, because I'm not really. I only come to church to pray before the big jobs. What brought you here today, then? Do you need to ask? I want to pray for you kids' future, as well as the future of all of us in the Bracer Guild. With the Adios and my other goddess. Whoa, whoa, who's this other goddess? <laughs> kind of embarrassing question to answer, to tell you the truth. But she's the woman who set me on the road to becoming a Bracer. Oh. I was trying back in the day when I was still working for Old Mict. I ended up getting caught in some trouble involving an artifact, you see, and she's only helped me get through it all. You don't want me asking what kind of trouble? Let's just say one experience I'll never happy to relive. That's one experience I'll be happy never to relive. I butchered that, alright. I was pretty skilled with arts even back then. If she had come but if she had come when she did, I'd have been a goner. She's a tad on the violent side though, that kind of person who could take out your whole game of core with her bare hands. I think a tad might be putting it, putting it lightly. Still, so, that's how we met, and saw the potential I had when it came to arts. Thanks to her, I ended up finding my true calling. I threw away all the aliases I've been using up until that point. It just became Toval Renator, the Bracer. That's how I'm going to stay. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is people at the end of the day are the sum of their experiences. There's honestly a lot you don't know about, about your past, and that's not what defines who you are. What does define you is the choices you make, the paths that lead you. Yeah, that's why I think at least. Toval. Why are you patting my head, man? But well, anyway, you've still got more of your classmates to find. And even then, you're going to get plenty of time to find exactly what you want to do with your life. But if you ever need advice, you can always come talk to me. Thanks, Toval. I have no idea what I want to do after all of us meet up or after this war is over. But hopefully by the end of it, I'll have a better idea. <laughs> there we go. The 
The Constitution finished straight into a wall off the silent prairies up to the goddess, and swore once again to survive the trials of the war and come down the other side. And now we choose who we want. So we have Gaius, Machias, Miriam, or Lisa. I'm tempted either Miriam or Lisa right now. We'll see. You know what? Huh. We'll get more comedy out of Milliam, so let's go Milliam. This spot's got the best view of the whole town you can get! Now where am I going to play today? Someone mentioned a spot where you could snowboard around here. That sounds like kind of fun. Let's just make herself at home. She's interested in snowboarding. She might need some help get to get started. Maybe I should go with her. Snowboarding, huh? Want me to join you? I hate to assume, but I'm guessing you've never gone before. I'd go around the snow, so I can help show you the ropes if you want. You mean it? That'd be awesome! But I did say I lend Claire a hand today. Go have fun! You can help me out later. Hehe, <laughs> boom! Schedule cleared. Let's go carve up some powder. That's what you say, right? Um... That's cocaine. A... A... Wow, this course is super nice looking. Yep, all the younger guys in the village helped make it. That goes for me too, of course. It was a while before enrolling in the academy. Really? Neat! Alright, time to have some fun! But you know you use a snowboard, right? You should probably start by learning the basics instead of trying to race right off the bat. Uh huh, nah. Look at all that boring stuff I got land me! What kind of trouble you conjure up this time? Land me! I race on Lammy, you race on your snowboard. We'll see who claims victory. You can't be serious. What's the point of racing on a snowboarding course if you're gonna fly over everything? <laughs> but it'll be fun! And fun's all that matters! Let's go, go, go! Oh shit, I had to actually play this? Uh, gotta catch up, gotta catch up! I'm not catching up! <laughs> oh! I don't stand a chance. Come on, Rain. Whoa. That's actually pretty fast. Oh! Neck and neck! Huh. Can I win? That win? I think I mean that one. I don't know what that million thing was. And victory is mine. I won! Oh yeah. Haha, <laughs> look at you, Reed. I can't believe you beat Lammy. Well, I'm pretty used to snowboarding, and this is the beginning, of course. Aaron Gatlin sure is fast, though. Racing against him reminded me of when we were all chasing you two across the highlands. Haha, <laughs> guess you did, huh? Maybe you can do way more than this, though. Probably the only one who could really take him down would be that girl and Sammy. Actually, now you brought that up, you wouldn't know, have to know anything about her, would you? I mean, you got the same surname, and that can't be a coincidence. Beats me. All I can tell you is that it was definitely the first time we ever met. Maybe she's a friend of a friend or something. That doesn't explain the surname. You know, I really don't know much about Milliam. You know, he classmates, but she doesn't talk much about background. Maybe she's just not ready to? Eh, who cares who she is anyway? Friend, foe, a distant relative, she kidnapped the least in the princess, right? Well, yeah, but... We're going to save them, right? If fighting her is... If fighting her is what it takes to make that happen, that's what, just, just what we're going to do. Eh. I mean, I'm going to help, because that's what classmates are for, right? <laughs> right you are. Thanks, Milliam. We still don't have any clues as to... So we still don't have any clues as to where the two of them actually are. But we count you to help us find out. And to come... And to rescue them with, when that time comes. Eh. You betcha! Fucking million, man. They stayed out for a while longer to enjoy the wintry scenery together. Then they headed back to Ymir. 
Level up. Alright. Got the side quest. We got all that done. What else can we do? Oh, okay, we have a hidden quest. We can, we can go. Alright, gotta go. I believe it's over here. Yep. Excuse me, Warner. Would you mind if I ask you a question? Of course not. Ask away. Rena asked Warner if he had any azaka beans. Hmm. Well, I certainly do use them on occasion in my cooking. Now, this unique flavor and texture makes a very interesting addition to certain dishes. Unfortunately, wild monkeys broke into our storehouse and made off with my entire supply. Oh, unfortunate. But it does happen from time to time. Indeed, it's part of the parcel of living in the mountains, I suppose. Well, thanks for telling me. I'll try my luck elsewhere. Can I think of it? I know someone who's big on making confectionery. I should go ask him if he has any beans. A tavern. Gerald's a big fan of making sweet, so maybe some azuki beans. Worth a shot at least. We need a short thing of azuki beans. Oh, he's looking for some of those? I do use them fairly often, yeah. Kiki loves them in my paste form. Do you have any on your own hand? Afraid not. I did have some, but they were sold by Ron Monkeys just the other day. I bet the same monkeys that attacked the Phoenix Wing storehouse. They probably got a taste for them now. Uh, I want to be more careful about locking them up in the future. Hmm, time to think of it. I do know one place where you would try, try looking if you want some. Really? A while back, Kiki's beanbag flew open and it was full of Oski beans too. And he went, oh, everywhere. But I hear Luke was the one who gave us some replacement beans. Hey, you still got some left? Hmm, he's not someone I would have thought of, but it sounds like a good lead as I. I'll try asking. Good luck! I'll go ahead over here now. Hey, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? We're gonna ask leaving Oski beans. Uh-huh, that's kind of a basic question. Is? I'm not sure how it could be. Well, you know my mom was... You know how my mom was when I got hired here earlier this year, right? She couldn't stop smiling. She was so happy she went and made Seki Sekihan to celebrate. She ever did, and of course we ended up with more than two beans in the house than we knew what to deal with. <laughs> I had forgotten all about that. She only bust out the Sekihan when it's something worth celebrating too. Think I could take some of those extra off your hands? Actually, at least I was looking for some too. So sorry, Ray. I ended up giving her the last, the last of it all to her. To Lisa? That's a surprise. I gave her a bunch of those, so she might have a few left. I'm sure she'd give you some if you asked. Can you? Thanks for the tip. Alright, Lisa's in the church. I can't TP there, so. Uh. Church. Right in front of me. Uh, Lisa... There you are. Hey, Maple. Can I have a minute of your time, Lisa? Of course, what can I help you with? Rain asked if you have any Azuka beans? I certainly do. You gave me some not long ago. I felt the interest in them after hearing they were from the East and have evil repelling properties. But after looking into some more, I found they're also very healthy and nutritious. That's the origin of the belief that they repel evil is the fact that they keep you healthy and thus repel evil in that sense. Father Bernard and I have started putting them in our oatmeal for that reason. R really? Kind of amazing how many things you can do with the Azuki beans. Um, if any left over, would you mind sharing some with, of them with me? Oh, not at all. Hold on a minute. I'll go and get some. We have, we have plenty of left in our storehouse. S storehouse? It, it's not outside, is it? It is. Why you ask? I have a bad feeling about this. We should hurry. I'm coming with you. Fucking monkeys. Ooh, looks like locks still fine. But here they are. Hi, you two. <sighs> Just glare. Eek! 
Green's terrifying. <laughs> that should keep them away for a while. Oh my, that was impressive. Is that a school you came to your training? <laughs> I didn't do anything special, really. But as a precaution, I judge you keep the ingredients that monster likely to enjoy locked indoors in the future. No arguments here. Hehe. <laughs> but first... I should give you those ice cream beans that you wanted, shouldn't I? <laughs> thanks. It wasn't easy, but I managed to find some beans for you. Yes, thank you so much. I knew I could count on you. I'm just glad all the efforts are going to pay off once everyone gets to try our specialty. N you know, they say that more, the more trouble you go through as a young person, the better you off later in life. Anyway, now that I have these, time to make some manju. What, you're going to make them now? First, if we soak the beans in water. Then, we, then when they're soft, you boil them like so. Then you add some sugar, boil them down, and then you, then you knead them like this. I really need to be here for this. Just like Amir's famous question mark, come on you, we're finally complete. Here you go, all finished. The finest homie mind you, e you ever did see. Make sure you share them, okay? You did look pretty good. Thanks, Camila. That was exhausting, but I guess it was worth helping her after all. I've written all over how dependent you are, Irene. If, I, if you ever need help with anything else, I know who to call. Uh, it's just trying to work me too much. Alright, let me head over here actually. Got some money we can get real quick. Oh, this is actually a better weapon than what Machias has right now. Better for Toval. Give that to Machias. Give this to Toval. Okay. Right, we're good. Hang on. I didn't answer attacks real quick. Alright, time to head to uh, my room. Uh, right. I wonder if I can actually go grind, actually. I want to see. Okay, I can. I just want to see if I could do it. Well, that'd be good for on uh, I'm not streaming, just to go do. I should go and the rest now. Yep. Dun. Dun. Hey. Oh, you went up a rank. Here's a little something from the guild. Nice work. 35 <laughs> You should be proud of yourself. And it's time. There. 
So my dog right now has her head like halfway on my computer and her ear is covering some of my keys. So I literally had to type through her ear. Good morning everyone. Did you sleep well? We did, thank you. I think I can speak by one when I said we just say that it was just what we needed to take care of today. Breakfast was delicious too. I'm kinda of jealous of you, Rain. <laughs> really? It wouldn't be have been possible if not for Sharon. She's been incredible at help this past couple days. She's even taught me a few a few new tricks in the kitchen. All this cooking's been rather fun to have her around fun with her around. Oh, the pleasure's been all mine. This has been a wonderful opportunity to learn some local dishes. Hang on, everyone. I simply can't wait to treat each and every one of you to new recipes. I picked up after additional practice. I doubt you ever need to practice, Sharon. Uh, just don't forget that this isn't your home, okay? No overstepping your bounds. See, but of course. Incidentally, how is Baron Schwarzer? As much as a relief it was to see him up and about again, he doesn't seem to be back to his old self yet. I'm afraid not. You should not have to worry about, uh, you're not the only ones who have worried noticed either. Ugh. Mother Bernard says much when he came by as well. But now he needs to focus on getting his strength back. We have to take things one step at a time, but as long as he eats well and gets plenty of rest, I'm told he'll be fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. So am I. Just please tell him not to try to rush things. You know how he is, Mom. No need to tell me. No need to tell me. I heard you just fine myself. Get your ass back to the bed. Shouldn't you be resting, darling? And what did I literally just say? You should get back to bed, Dad. Not to worry, my injuries don't have entirely closed up at this point, so no trip down the stairs won't kill me. If anything, I'm a bit unsteady on my own feet after all that sleeping. Well, you can't fault me when you see my son and his friends off, can you? You can forgive your old man for playing tough just this once. Well, if it's just this once, uh, if you must. <laughs> you can see who the ring takes after. Ain't that the truth. I doubt for a moment that you, you'll, you, uh, I don't doubt for a moment that you'll find your classmates and bring them back here safely. So go out there and do it. Go and walk the path that you, that you want to take during these turbulent times. You may not know what pa path is just yet, but as long as you're taught together, you'll find something to guide you in the right direction. Thanks, Dad. I'll be back before you know it. Until then, I'll leave everything here in your capable hands. I won't let you down. Good luck, son. Alright. Shall we get going? We want to see a valley at the end of the valley, right? <laughs> yeah, we need to use Spirit Path again to travel. And here's our way in. We'll need to figure out who's going this time, too. <laughs> I'll leave that making decision to you, Master Rain. Yeah, I agree. Let's make sure we take care of anything we need to before taking off. Roger. Why am I the leader? Oh, well, I gotta be very selective. Damn. Well, she's good support. And it's Laura, so you gotta bring Fee. So Claire. Sharon or Toval. Damn. Let's bring Sharon this time. Can I change the group though? If I wanted to? No, I can't. So my decision was final. Reboot complete. Returning to an active state. A weaker and secondary contractor waveforms detected. Looks like he got some more, some more than enough mana back now. Yeah, we should be able to use the spirit path anytime we want. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get used to this thing. 
Those soul dots are amazing for sure, but the vine lights make them seem downright ordinary by comparison. The patch of soul dots certainly can't compare to the vine lights in terms of individual strength, as they can be mass produced and use a wide variety of strategies. However, they do have their advantages. After everything we've done so far, I'll bet that Alliance will be more be more on guard against the Ash Knight than before. Especially since they have a Divine Light of their own. We'll need to avoid using Valor more carelessly for the time being. Good point. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Huh, actually it looks like I choose the right party, because apparently Elisa and Sharon are very good for us. So I chose mostly right party, so there we go. Still, looking at him, it's not hard to consider not hard that he's glad to stay on us. Glad to be on our side. Yeah. My speaking, man, it's just off today. Like, but what well, is every time I stream? But you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Can't argue with that. After all, it was only thanks to him that the, we were able to drive the alliance forces out from Nord. He did his style too. <laughs> Oh no, we're just going to need to be aware of our own limits and, w and do what we can. We can use Valor more in our strategies, but we can't expect them to bail us out every time we're in a bind. Another nice chance to just grow, and we need to, we need to do that if we're ever going to find a rightful place in this war. Couldn't agree more, Rain. You know that got your backs all the way too. Anyway, with that settled, our next decision is the Grim, right? That's the one. Time to grab the last of us. And, be sh and just to be sure, can you double check for us, Valor? Acknowledged. Two which forms tucked in the ground to the south southeast. All places appear to be normal. Two. It's not hard to guess who those two could be. Wait a second. Two. Last time I asked, you said there were th there were three. He did, didn't he? Oh yeah. Who left the area then? We can exclude Chloe for obvious reasons. But still, wasn't putting their things down. Is that either Eustace, Laura, or Emma. We should wonder why they left too. Eustace. My detection mechanism is not perfect. The results can be influenced by the energy flowing through the ground. Oh, right. In other words, the third person on the move or aboard an airship, he would be able to sense them. I see. That could account for the discrepancy. I understand that you're concerned, but the situation you're bringing is changing constantly. You won't get very far if you let yourself waver from something this small, Rain. I'm with Captain Claire. At the very least, we know two of you caused me to dare. Don't need to freak out just yet. The shoot shoot's going and move, okay? Yeah, you guys are right. Any idea who should stay and go? For a start, I think we just took to traveling the same number of people as we did last time. So four of us, two of all Captain Claire, I prefer it if one of those came along as well. Does that work for everyone? And maybe so bold, I like to add my name to the list of choices. Should you let me join, it would be at my honor to serve you and utmost of my abilities whether Lady Lisa is with us or not. Actually, that'd be great, Sharon. No matter how you slice it, having her come would be a huge help. At least two of us will be able to will be able to remain behind and survey the village. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Sharon. We're happy to have to have your help. In that case, yeah. Oh, so now I can change my party if I wanted to. But that's what I want to do anyway. So let's see if anything better for rain. Not really. I mean, the Sylvan Emblem is pretty damn good. But, I'm gonna keep it the, his the same. Uh, I'll give Elisa uh, this. Fee, same as normal. Sharon now. Upper strength with the Clyder headband. Let's give her the Sybil Avalon. Uh, yeah. Actually, does she have outfits? No, just the bathing clothes and head fun perfs. That's about all I want to get from that. She only has the bathing. Time to go. You guys ready to head out? Ready. 
You might be able to find someone who's been keeping an eye on the guild house for me while I've been away. Say so thanks then for me, okay? Not sure if any reason to drop by, but if you do, I've got a feeling to lend you a hand. I don't see any reason why we can't. Take care and have a safe journey. Bye bye. I think it's time to deport. Depart. I said deport. Depart. Hmm? If you would, Celine. Right. Well, I'm on an open spirit path. This nation is the gram. Acknowledged. Activating spirit path. Well, I got two members of my A team together. At least send fee. I mean, I felt brain to count him. Just flying through the woods pure path. Uh. Let's mess with my dog. Fat girl. Here we are. And it's misty as hell. But Valimor is sparkling in this fucking thing. Look how bright he is. Sure is foggy here. Thank goodness we arrived safely. This must be the thick fog that I've heard so much about. This is where we fought our archaism. This should be on the Ebo Highway. Really? Well, we've got more than no more than archaisms to deal with this time. The high elements seem to be active in this area as well. Just like, just like they appear when the cryptid appeared. Wait a minute. Does that mean there's something strange happening here too? My my. Stay on guard, everyone. Following the highway to the south will take us to the gram. Once there, we can we can ask around if anyone's seen anything off. Uh, agreed. All right, let's wait. Have you been to the Grand before? Th that doesn't matter. Right now, let's just go. Uh, all right, and we're in the Grand. S tablet. Oh my! What ha! a lovely chip. We got this. I'll handle uh, it. Oh yeah, I gotta think of what to do with this formation. Eliminating Let's targets. See. Got it. Here I come. It's over. Let's move. Ha! May I? <laughs> right. Fire. Come on, Elisa. Okay. Let's move. Ha! Now. Gotcha. With and pleasure. Down. Our chat. You're open. That was wonderfully executed. Yay. V levels up. Success. Oh my! What a lovely chest. Flame tongue. Oh, uh, you already know we're gonna go chest hunting. Ha! We got this. Okay. Huh. Eh. Now, here I come. At least V's starting to hit things. Let's move. Ha! No problem. Fire. With pleasure. I'll handle it. Now, here I come. It's over. And boom. That was wonderfully executed. 
Uh, let's see. Let's get this one over there. Are you serious? But there's a chest! Aw, oh, fuck you, Selene. <laughs> and here's the highway. We'll need to turn right to reach the town, then. I won't get... Are you serious? Oh, you're restricting me. I don't like it. Over here, then. Isn't the game just making me listen to it? I can barely see where I'm going. Oh, that's a big monkey. What a fearsome opponent. Careful! This one looks strong! I'll handle it. Here. Very well. How about this? Damn. Die. Here I go. Ha! Now's our chance. Let's go, everyone. Lead it to me. Ha! Yeah. I can do this. Okay. All right. Let's move. Bully the monkeys. Ha! No problem. Fire! With pleasure. This won't take long. Shadow stitch! I'll handle it. One down. Let's move. Sit! Now's our chance. Gotcha! My turn. Huh. Yeah. Uh. Right. Huh. Let's move. Sit! My turn. Huh. Huh. This thing doesn't stand a chance. Uh, it's over. was a cinch. Green levels up. I did it! I spy with my little eye the goods. Blue scaled mail. Is that good? Ups defense, ups evasion. Lose. Can I put it on fee? Because it ups evasion? It does. I can. We're building the evasion tank. All right. I do need to buy some more supplies, though. All right, there's, there's two more chests on the way. So one's like right over here. Ha! This will be over it. Oh, uh, just my one. See, my turn. Not again. With pleasure. Right. I'll handle it. Got it. Here I come. That was wonderfully. All right. EP charge. Are you serious? Ah, oh, this game. I spy walls. Yep. I see that blue. Ah, uh, the, the medieval kind of like music-ish. I love it. Well, we're here.
there's a Lance Maiden. What was hometown, huh? Feels kind of mystical. I guess you can. I guess you can see what Laura meant when she called it a town of mist and ancient legends. Now, time to get to work. First order of business is figuring out who and where the two men's class seven in this region are. You may want to stop asking the Bracer Guild. The all did ask us to pass his guards over was there. <laughs> a wonderful idea, Master Rain. Just imagine what kind of, if, kind of useful information they might be able to share with us. Let's go! The Bracer Guild, the Grand Branch. Excuse me, is anyone in? My, my, you appear to have visitors. Come on in, the door is unlocked. Oh. Hello and welcome to the Grand Branch of the Bracer Guild. You'll see you from, from here. Can I help you with anything? One moment, you look awfully familiar. We were just here, man. We be the Lord's classmates from Class Seven. Class. Oh, are they acquaintances of yours? Indeed, they are Lady Lord's treasured classmates. I expected we would we would next meet here. You're the our Saint family Butler. Hey, I believe you share those uh, very similar professions. Klaus. Let me reintroduce myself to you. I am Klaus. The, I serve by Count Orsaid and his family. I am most relieved to see that you are in well and good health. I'm certainly Lady Lord be happy to see you again. Then, Lord really is here? She certainly is. She's been staying here with Lady Emma for some time. Although I fear you two have missed the two of them. They left not long ago. So you're the Class 7 I hear so much about, are you? Sarah and Tova always go on about you. Miles. My name is Miles. I'm currently sitting with receptionist here in the Grand Branch of the Guild. You might film me what you've been up to? Sounds like plenty has been happening on your end. So Laura came in here immediately after the war broke out. Correct. She was here with other classmates and has been residing here ever since. And you're all here as now as part of your journey to unite everyone, eh? hmm? I see. I had no idea that this was supposed to happen in the shadows of the Civil War. When I had her talk about Ash Cloud Knight, I didn't realize it belonged to you. So like you fought rather well over in Caldeca Nord. You know about that already? <laughs> First, it was time to explain what happened. Factoring in all that you've seen elsewhere in the country, it cer certainly does appear something's happening, un something unusual is happening behind the scenes. Perhaps the strange circumstances in the Grand of Late are connected. What's happening here? Something of concern happening here. Yeah, a couple of things actually. First, we have never seen monsters. We have never seen before monsters appearing on the highway. And second, we have a thick fog that has occurred for a month now. It does count as unusual. I know fog here is ordinary enough but occurrence, but fog lasting for an entire month is beyond abnormal. Indeed, there's no natural phenomenon. As such, the townsfolk will begin to grow rather disturbed by it. The Viscount here. Were the Viscount here, I'm certain he would assuage the worries, but alas. Is he missing? He is. You just didn't hear anything of him from a, nearly a month. He left in the direction of Heimdall aboard the Courageous when the war broke out. We've been able to reach him since. It must have been when he went to Trista. Well, it is Viscount I say you're talking about. I can't hardly believe anything could happen to him. We're in an agreement. I am in the belief that he is simply biding his time waiting for the perfect chance to act. It's a great loss to have him here at a time like this. But on the bright side, Noble Highness's power doesn't seem to reach quite this far. Was leave us free to focus on dealing with problems like these. Klaus is a wonderful help in that regard. As have Lady Laura and Emma. They're been helping out the guild stuff, huh? You may hear where they are right now? You said something about them going out earlier, didn't you? Indeed, they left not long ago. Emma said to you something out of the ordinary over at Lohengrin Castle. After that, they hurried there aboard the boat to investigate. You visited during the your field study here, didn't you, Rain? Yeah, we encountered some pretty strange things last time. 
Only the two of them went there? Yes, I did try to convince them to do otherwise, but they remained adamant. They insisted, if we could not do something as simple as this, how can we hope to see our friends again? I could hardly bring myself to press my further after hearing as such. Uh, hang on, I'm just making sure my guy is like, up to date where I'm at. Alright, there we go. It's like they say something. Something to say. I can easily picture it. Uh, when you get an idea into her head, there's no stopping her. In this circumstance, it's only right for us to go help them. I agree. Let's head to the Hogan Castle. <sighs> You're just as I heard you were. I'm sure they would be the most relieved to see you. Please assist them however you can. I will see them regarding a boot. I will see them readying a boot for you at once. As soon as you're ready to depart, make your way to the pier. Thank you. We will. Alright. I actually skipped Selene's dialogue there, but... Alright, and we have stuff to do. Whoa, it is really like, fo foggy. Carnell. There's a new kid here named Nico. He just came from the west with his mom. It was so damn we first showed up to you, so we figured we'd play with him and cheer him up. <laughs> Helping any is what we Junior Eisenreiter do the best after all. Junior Eisenreiters, huh? Over to the inn. Ah. Uh, let's see, any people we recognize? Oh, but... Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I did not realize this was a thing. Oh, you look familiar, don't you? <coughs> <coughs> hmm. This town is just a sort of dignified aura one would expect. So the mansion training hall enter your view and ruin everything. Or say it's a little more than a branch school. It's clear this master is lacking as the ruling lord as he is, as he is a swordsman. Um, the food here is on the hand is delectable. But that's by virtue of the surroundings greenery, so it doesn't even count. I always knew the RC family couldn't hope to measure up to my illustrious lord, and I was right. Who is she supposed to be? She's like really strong for a random girl at the end. Why, she must be a traveler, of course. I wonder what she's had. Sharon, I know you know her. I wonder how much I have to wait till train to, next train to arrive. Oh, it's one thing as, him, as I get pissed with him, and then I get I don't like being here. No, no, I wasn't complaining. This sacrifice is too great for my lord's sake. Duvely? Why? I didn't even know this was a thing. We're fucking Duvely. Uh, who are the? I don't know these people. Are you a reader? One of the previous visitors recommended a book to me a while back. I was a little hesitant at first, since it was g about gambling, but it's actually surprisingly interesting. I can see why you could ask in your eyes. You should give it... Oh, look at yourself. Alright. Hey, how do I get all the Gambler Jack stuff? Uh, I'm missing. You know, I got one. Oh, oh, this. Oh, I'm missing the part one of the sequel. That's some bullshit. Uh, anyone in here that I know? Oh, this is the Nico kid and Maria. Uh, I still can't go over fucking Duvali. Uh, business is booming, but the railway schedule all jumped off. Everyone's showing goods, and that just sounds like hotcakes. Shishin Cruise is traveling merchant was the best I've ever made. Especially since it means I get the final, finest dining establishment. Fucking Duvali. I didn't know this was a thing. She was just here. Oh my god. See, it's always nice to replay games and find stuff you don't remember. Because I definitely missed Duvely being here. I, I never even like thought about that. Oh, I can get a recipe real quick. I head out back. Uh, let's speak to this dude. Even in times of rage and strife, fish swim through the, all the waters, all, the waters are the same. It's a gift we cannot take for granted. Alright, please let me show you a recipe that will allow me greatly appreciate 
How much we owe this lake? Seafood Palaf. Alright, we have no one who's really great okay, at it. Okay, let's give this a try. Wow, people... I'll again pull off. Alright. See ya, Duvely. Fight you soon. Let's head to the hotel store. Uh, shop. Yep, up. Get some more weapons. I'll just buy that. Huh. Looks like most of my armor is better than, well. I guess I'll give that. See, uh, it ups. This ups Rain's defense, but it lowers his ADF and strength by a lot. I think I can make up for it, though. This, yeah, this would be probably good for Fee. No. Alright. We got an A Master Quartz and a Megalith. Alright, time to actually buy supplies. Uh, actually, no, customize. And you get to the general store to do that, and it's right here. Alright, I need to buy a lot of supplies. 17 of these. My foods are pretty good. Oh! Gonna Jack Chapter Four. All right. Well, there's actually some Thor students we can meet up with real quick. One's in the chapel. It's one of my favorite ones. Yep, you see the pink hair. I think you can guess who it is. Hey, Vivi. Please be safe. Please. Wait, I know you. Rain? Rain from class 7? Hey, Vivi. What are you doing here? That's what I should be asking you, Fee. <laughs> Long time no see. And it's Vivi. Thought you were with Lynn until you opened your mouth. But Rain, how can you forget me? How can you be so cruel? After all the magical nights we spent together, too. Or was it just another name along your long list of conquests? Why, well, yes, Rain. Please explain. Just stop before someone actually starts believing you. Although I have to admit, I never thought I'd actually miss your sense of humor. I can't imagine it was easy to make for you to make all the way to the gram. That's putting it lightly. If it wasn't for everyone else who made it here, I don't know if I could have done it. I was slave Linda while, while I was running away though. Oh no. I was enforcing that cheeriness a minute ago then. I've been coming here to pray every day and night since we arrived. But I haven't heard a thing about where she might be or what she's up to. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not. I know none of this is very me of me, but I just can't help it. I'm not happy, you shouldn't force yourself to be. Whoever she is, I don't doubt that your sister is alive and well. If you keep your faith in her, I'm sure you'll be reunited. <laughs> Thanks. But don't you worry about me. You got, you got too much to worry about without making, without me making things worse. I guess you're trying to make me up with your classmates around here. Hope that works out. We do, too. Thanks. Well, we got one of our favorites characters just chilling around here. Who's it? Oh, it's just her. Next, next one's up in the training school. My voice cracked there. Wow. I swear, Jimmy's turning me 12 years old again. Hey, Casper. 
Wait a second, is that Yuri? Casper? Did you flee the Academy of Laura and Vivi? That's right. I spent most of my time here since the train hall and helping out with whatever I can in town. To be honest, I've been buying my time waiting for a chance to take a boat and out west to see my family. Oh yeah, you're from a coastal town over there, right? How do you get a clear picture of what's going on over there lately? I'm trying not to bring me down. I don't have to justify sitting around moping around when Emma and Laura are working so hard right in front of my nose. So you're trying to put yourself too hard, Casper. No one can hardly blame for you if you're on your mind right now. Oh, by the way, we're in that Monica on travels too. I'm always taking care of her right now. Really? Oh, that's great news. Thanks for letting me know. You have to meet Laura at the castle, right? Don't forget to tell her, too. She'll be more excited than I am. <laughs> always. Okay, okay. Time for us to get going. What else can we do? So, okay, go to Colossus now. We're done. Well, got some CVV, Casper. Now we get to go to see, you know, young man and man. Great names, you two. Hey, Klaus. The boat is ready when you are. We will be taking off the La Hunger Castle now, then. In that case, do take care of yourselves. I'm pretty sure your success will not cease until I see you, I see you back here completely safe. We appreciate it, Klaus. Let's get going. Alright, it's hard to believe that it's the middle of the day with how poor visibility is. And this has been going on for the whole month? I imagine it's a manifestation of the chaos in Abonia, much like the appearance of the higher elements. There's a possibility whatever Emma sensed over in the castle is the right cause. I do feel something strange something strange is here this time too. Oh, this time too? You didn't follow us here during our field study, did you? Well, I suppose there's no harm in making it now. I have my own duty as a familiar to fulfill, you know. I was going to make sure this area didn't have any undesirable effects when you as a potential awakener. What kind of undesirable effects? I think the Grim has something to do with the Divine Knights. More Halloween Castle than the Grim as a whole. Once upon a time, the Divine Knight, just like the Ashen and Azure Knight, supposedly slumbered there. Are you serious? There were more than two? First I'm hearing of it. All I've heard of is the ancient legends, unfortunately. So all I know is that there was once a Divine Knight here, and now it's gone, along with its Awakener. Gone? Gone where, I wonder? Oh, look, I can see the castle now. Almost there. Prepare to disembark, everyone. And here we are. This is one old eerie ca old castle. Lori and Emma are here? Yep, they're inside, alright. I can feel Emma's mana. Be careful on the way up. I remember how steep it was before, and all this fog's not gonna make the trip any easier. All right. Oh, what a pain. Yep. <laughs> you look awfully happy about seeing Emma again soon, though. I do not. Ah, uh, Sundari cat. Uh, head up here. Steep ass climb. Yes, yeah, you're not excited. That's why you don't. You ran ahead. Lofty Green Castle. Last time we were here, the castle had this weird lights around it, kind of like the old schoolhouse. Being someone that I'm sensing, it shouldn't take long before. Wait, something's with her. I think Emma's fighting. Maybe it's what Emma was sensing before she left? Then we got no time to waste. We should hurry. Weapons at the ready! Right. Yeah! Uh, 
Uh, time to see Lauren, Emma. <laughs> Chrysalid. Laura! Emma! Is that a cryptid? It looks just like oh, the one cryptid. from Nord! Come, Emma. We'll fight with all we have. Right! Stop! That probably didn't do jack shit. Looks Lamina. Looks Lamina. Oh, just a theory, old bleed. Now, Laura. Of course. Oh, she's going to S-craft. Be gone. Oh, well, damn. So much for us being useful. Man, Laura's gotten even stronger. Emma's no slouch either. Her powers never cease to amaze. <laughs> Looks like they didn't need our help after all. They're not out of the woods yet! So it seems. Uh, and it's back. It evolved. The gluttonous lizard, Zelfenom. What is that? Where did it come from? Laura! Emma! Huh? Am I imagining things? Reen! Celine! We can explain after we've taken care of things here. We'll back you two up. Ready? We're right here with you, Laura. I can't believe you're here. Very well. Then lend me your strength. Let's go, everyone. Uh, all right. Over the so, adversary. What's the strategy I can do here? Let's move. I have an idea. See how yeah. this goes. <laughs> oh, that My hurt. Turn. Good luck. Not to worry. How about this? Die. It's my turn. Uh Damn, no that one's near each other. Uh She has luminous ray, get that ray. Leave this to me. Shatter They're off guard! I'll back you up! Now! Here I go! Burn to ash! Fall! Now's our chance! Here I come! <laughs> oh. Here I go! Uh, uh damn. Sorry Actually. for the trouble. I'll handle this. Ha ha. Hang in there. Thanks. You have my thanks. <laughs> Very well. Wait, what's tea time? Oh, it heals. Oh. I just want. I just want to put it on. How would you all like? <laughs> <laughs> it will only take a moment to cool. I never do this with a face. You have my face. My turn. Here goes. We actually had oh, tea. Try. Try. 
burn Didn't think to that ash. was a thing. I'll be honest. Fall! Now! Here I come! But it's hilarious that it was. May I? <laughs> now! With me, everyone! Understood! Okay. Oh. My oh, turn. Had about half health. Sit. Now's our chance. Here I come. My turn. Uh. <laughs> May I? My turn. Huh. All right, let's do this. Understood. May I? <laughs> How naughty. Now. Do we just say naughty, man? <laughs> right. Oh shit. You're not getting away. Molten rain! Witness the severing chains. Let's see what her ass craft looks like. I'm afraid your fate is now sealed. Fall into death and break. Damn! She really meant it by Death's Embrace. We mustn't tarry here too long. At least I love up. <laughs> I'm so glad! But damn! She fucking killed that thing. Finally. Yeah. I can't sense anything else here now. You guys okay? Y yeah. It's it's really you, isn't it? You're all here. Yeah, of course it's us. Uh, uh, this oh, is shit. all so sudden. Dig new outfit, Laura. I'm happy to see you're well, Reen. <laughs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I've never considered myself as the sort to cry at reunions like these, but <laughs> clearly I was mistaken. Laura. I'm really sorry for making you worry about me, and I can't possibly thank you enough for fighting on so that we could see each other again like this. There's no you need this, to Rain. apologize, Reen. You got this. I swore to fight as Class Sevens. No. As your sword, I swore that my blade would not this. be broken until it returned to your side. And I swear now to continue upholding every word I've said, with Adios as my witness. Thanks. I really am glad to see you're alright. And the same goes for you too, Emma. I feel the same way. I can hardly believe that this is actually happening. The day's finally come where we can all be together again. <laughs> it all feels like a wonderful dream. A wonderful dream, huh? Well, fortunately, this isn't a dream. These might be tough times for Erebonia, but we're persevering. That perseverance is what brought us together again. And the fact that we've found each other makes everything we've been through along the way worth it. Yes, I couldn't agree more. But I know that I wouldn't have been able to come this far if not for all of you. It was only because I knew I could have faith in all of you that I could do any of what I did. So, they- You've really grown strong, Emma. <laughs> Wait, Emma! Oh, 
Thank you, Celine. Thank you for all the support you've given my classmates. And thank you for coming all the way here with them to see me. <sighs> Please, it was nothing. But I'm glad you're okay, I guess. Sundarberry cat. At least I won't end up astray. <laughs> Celine, there's nothing wrong with being honest about your feelings, you know. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Right. Well, we've done what we set out to do here. There's no sign of any more cryptids either. Might I suggest we return to Legram for now? Count me in. You guys are fine with that too, right? That's fine by me. We can tell you more about what we've been doing since we parted ways. Then we're off to the pier! And of course, Rain gets the... <laughs> Rain's right next to Laura. The fog's actually a little less dense than it was on the way here. Maybe because we defeated the cryptids? Most likely. I imagine they were accelerating the development of the problem that would appear regardless. So when the situation should settle down for now, I imagine it will happen again in due time. Indeed. The fundamental cause is likely elsewhere and much more complex. Grandma as a whole will have to stay wary of this for a while, I suppose. Still, listen to what you had to say. It's troubling to think that's how unpredictable this war is. There's no telling what direction it's going to take. Yeah, unfortunately. The fight between Noble Alliance and Imperial Army is showing no signs of laying up. In fact, I still got no idea what's going on over at the Academy or what to happened to Gragius and Viscount Arsade. It's been over a month since we last heard from either of them. I'm not worried to tell the truth. I'm still fully convinced we have nothing to worry about in that regard. My father's alive and well, of that I, I am certain. I believe in him. <laughs> you believe him, then I will tell. <laughs> I'm sure he's perfectly fine. I find myself more concerned about the robots of Master Yusus. When do you expect Duke Abrea's son to be easier to find than this? Yusus was in the grim at one point, wasn't he? Do either of you have any idea wh where he is now? He was with us when we fled from the academy, yes. Several days ago, he boarded a train to Brayhard. He was growing increasingly concerned about what was happening in the region. I guess there's no stopping him. At least we know where he went. That's a relief. That's one of the Alliance's most well-protected strongholds now. I'm surprised it's even possible to get there by train. It was at the time, but not anymore. The Alliance has brought heavy restrictions on our way since, since his departure. We've been at a loss what to do. That explains it. Well, we can certainly th think about that when we get back to town. If it comes to it, we can always walk through there using the highways. Uh, eh? Emma? What's wrong? I feel like I should have told you so many things a long time ago. About me, and Celine, and about Divine Knights and Awakeners. Oh. <sighs> Does that mean you're ready to tell us now? Yes, I am. Well, if you're sure. I imagine you've heard some of this from Selene already, but still. Enrolling at Thor's was originally part of my duty as one of the Hexen clan. It's a clan of witches that traces its origins far back into the past. What kind of duty would have you enroll at a military academy? It's one that's been passed down through our clan for a long, long time. We must watch over the fragments of the great power sealed deep underground and observe whatever comes to pass regarding them, just as it did for many others before her. That duty fell to Emma as well. When you say the great power, you mean Balamar, right? Did both of you know about the Divine Knights this whole time? We knew of their existence, yes, as well as the fact that they choose an Awakener, and that their chosen Awakener will be drawn into an unavoidable battle. <sighs> hmm. Just because you had the potential to become one, you were drawn into a great conflict against your will. And not just you, Reen. The rest of us have become secondary contractors, and yet I couldn't say or do anything for you. I couldn't even give you a simple word of warning. What right do I have to call myself your classmate after failing all of you like that? Hmm. Don't be silly, Emma. Emma? Emma, 
You're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear after coming all this way to find me. But this is where we should part ways. Emma. Well... You said it yourself back in the old schoolhouse. You said Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer, right? Uh... I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. Yep. We all come from different backgrounds, and we all had things we were maybe scared to or couldn't tell anyone. Crow has his past, you have yours, I have this strange power of mine that I've carried with me for as long as I can remember. That doesn't directly relate to the Divine Knights in any way, does it? No. Though there's always the possibility it may be one of the reasons why you were chosen. I know plenty about witches and their history, but none of that gives me a clue as to what your powers could be. Alright, Ben. The point is that even after learning I had this monstrous power within me, you all accepted me without a second thought. I feel that I'm a part of Class 7 as much as anyone else, and I'm proud to say I am too. Class 7 is only the best there is because it has every one of us in it. Me, Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Fee, Machias, Eusus, Gaius, Milium, Crow, and you, Emma. You're not an exception. Without you, our class wouldn't be what it is. Just like it wouldn't be if any one of us weren't a part of it. Oh, Reen, I... He's absolutely right. What he said. So I don't want to hear you say anything like that ever again. We want you right where you are, guiding me, guiding all of us, and not just as a witch, but as the kind class president and caring friend you always have been. <laughs> G goodness <laughs> How can I possibly refuse when you put it like that? All right, then. She took the glasses off. <laughs> I can't deny the ancient knowledge that I possess. Or my position She really does as a look witch. completely different without the glasses. I always want to remain the same that I have been since the day I joined Thor's. So please, let me stay at your side. Of course. That goes without saying. <laughs> always, Emma. Class 7 really isn't Class 7 without you in it. What a picturesque fairy tale ending. I couldn't be more pleased. And the timing couldn't have been more perfect. I can see Legram coming into view now. Would everyone mind gathering their things and. I have a What's bet. that? Is that an airship? It's coming from the sky to the west. Is that. Imperials. Well, I'm kind of looking at a wanted criminal, so I kind of got a duck. An Alliance airship? Wait, that's a commanding officer ship too. Indeed. Well, it seems we have ourselves some visitors. My apologies for the unexpected arrival. I should have sent word. Oh, General Aurelia. Well, okay, now that I move should be good. She's awesome, we're good. I am Aurelia Le Guin of the Noble Alliance. I wish to make a brief visit to the territory of Viscount Arsade. Hang on. What just happened? Give me a sec. Alright, that's what. My headphone died, so I couldn't hear the stream. I was concerned for a second. Thought I lost audio. Just 
General Grin and General Bardius. Oh, we beat him there. It's a pleasure to see you again, your ladyship. And a pleasure to meet you as well, Brigadier General. <laughs> we were simply in the area, so we thought we might drop by and pay you a visit. It's been quite some time since we last met. I was hoping to take the opportunity to apologize to my master for not staying in touch. But I see that won't be possible. Unfortunately so. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded setting eyes on the famous Radiant Blade Master, but I suppose I'll have to be content with meeting his daughter. I'm honored, General. Rain, you're kind of obvious, man. I can't believe they're here. Do you know them, Rain? They seem to be provincial army officers. Their names are General Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardius. They're said to be the two strongest generals in the provincial armies. Yeah, I don't think there are many people interested in martial arts who don't know about them. That's how famous they are. Brigadier General Bardius is otherwise known as the Black Whirlwind. He's known for his unparalleled spearmanship. What I've heard, he has Nord blood running through him, too. Oh, I see. I wonder if that's how he came to be so tall. He seems pretty strong. A number of warriors from Nord were said to have fought with Emperor Dreykels during the War of the Lions. Perhaps he's a descendant of theirs? Yeah, that makes sense. As for the woman with him... One of the best characters in the series. She's generally known as the Golden Rakshasa. She's also a countess and head of the Le Guin family, as well as commander of the Le Maire Provincial Army. And hard as it is to believe, I've heard she's a practitioner of both the Arsade and Vander Schools of Swordsmanship. Damn. Wasn't the Vander School practiced by the guardians of the Imperial family? Lieutenant General Vander is a practitioner of the Vander School too, obviously. Is she even human? Both of them are key public figures in the Alliance. What could they possibly want in a neutral region such as this, I wonder? Still, it won't do to have you standing around here. Allow me to show you to my father's office. Klaus, would you prepare some tea? Oh, there's no need to concern yourself with that. Seeing that the Viscount isn't here gave us all the information that we needed. What might you be suggesting? The Eddies. We didn't come to criticize anyone for the Crimson Wing's appearance near Trista. Uh. Still, it's always good to know who you're fighting against. The way I see it, you're continuing to remain neutral now. But if it came to it, you wouldn't be afraid to take up arms for your personal sense of justice. <laughs> There's no need to be hasty. We have more than enough opponents to be going on with. For now, let's focus on drawing out Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex. We can't allow Rufus to be the only one making any major achievements. <laughs> True enough. It would please me so if you were to fight under me one day, too. I believe you have the potential to surpass even me, given sufficient practice. I am honored that you would say so. However, my swordsmanship is inexperienced at best. I wouldn't dare presume to have the potential to surpass anyone at this stage. I would ask that you wait until I can at least best my father in a duel before making that invitation. Then wait I shall. I look forward to the day. With that, I believe it's time we took our leave. Perhaps so. I was hoping you would introduce us to your friends. But they seem to be feeling rather shy. <laughs> Teasing them, are you? Well, I'm sure we'll have the opportunity one day. I sense great potential within them. As do I. I apologize for being unable to do anything to make your visit more comfortable. Klaus, please escort them. As you wish, milady. Come to think of it, perhaps you wouldn't mind joining me in a battle before I depart. I haven't had the joy in quite some time. 
I hardly think an old man such as myself would prove to be a worthy opponent to one of your strength, General. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't let your guard down for a second since I stepped into Legram. They can read us pretty damn well, can't they? <laughs> and Laura clashes. Laura! <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see me like that. It took all that I had not to be overwhelmed by their sheer presence. I'm not surprised. We could feel it well enough ourselves and we weren't even in the room. That didn't stop them from noticing us, though. My fur was on end the whole time. They really did seem to be way beyond us in terms of skill. I wonder who'd win between them and Zeno and Leo. This just goes to show how many skilled people the Alliance them. has among their ranks. Aurelia and Wallace would beat Zeno and Leo ten times over. With warriors such as them on the field to say nothing of Lord Rufus Alborea, we can't afford to underestimate them. All very true. Still, that's no reason to give up now. We need to keep pressing on. And on that note, I think it's about time we left ourselves. Let's and once we've done that, then we can decide what we're going to do and who we're going to be fighting against. <laughs> Indeed. Then let's start heading to Bereahard. Claus, I'll leave Graham in your care. Should father return during my absence, please give him my warmest regards. But of course, Lady Laura. Why not? Graham will be safe hands with me. But if you, if you wouldn't mind, everyone, please do look at Lady Laura for me. We always do. Thanks for keeping an eye on Emma for so long. Please be well, Claus. Ha, huh, your words are very much appreciated, but unnecessary. I'll be perfectly fine, I can assure you. The abuse will be fraught with many challenges and dangers. But I'll be praying that you and... That you all will be able to navigate it safely to its end from there. Forge your own paths. Do keep yourself safe. Thank you, Klaus. We'll be back as soon as we're able. Looks like the generals have left already. Yeah, that's our cue to get going, too. Why do I look like we'll have to use the, use the highway to get very hard, though? That shouldn't be a problem. Find the Ebel Highway North will lead straight to it. Perhaps you should pay to visit the bridge to go before you head out. The receptionist there might might appreciate a good buy before you meet the Bray Hard. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna call it, everyone. Thanks for showing up. Thank you, um, Mystery Synergy for tuning in. I'll see you guys tomorrow, I'm hoping. See you guys.